The world continues to change at a rapid speed. Science and technology research provides such fantastic approaches and developmental parameters that none of us can guess what the world will look like in a few decades. Unlike previous developmental efforts, which were slower and consisted of mini projects, the modern world is reshaping itself through a substantial amount of mega projects. Facing a pandemic, manpower scarcity, and crowded supply chains, contractors all across the world executed billion dollar projects. Likewise, the year 2023 is shaping up to be even more exciting, with the development of desert skyscrapers and entire new city districts. The world's most successful business governance is going to reach even greater achievements. In today's video, we will look at 8 of these ultra-luxurious mega projects scheduled for completion in 2023. The Kempinski Floating Palace is a five-star luxury hotel that is planned for opening in 2023. It is a floating building that has a glass pyramid-topped main building that is divided into four sections. Other than holding approximately 150 guest rooms and suites, the hotel will also be home to 12 luxury vistas connected by pontoons. The Kempinski Corporation stated that the villas are connected with solar panels and are designed to be environmentally friendly cruising at a maximum pace of 6 nautical miles. Visitors are transported by speedboats to the 156 room and suite hotel or their villas, or they can come on their own boats. The hotel will also include a connected floating helipad next to an amazing yacht parking deck for up to 16 boats. Guests at the Kempinski Floating Palace have access to gourmet restaurants, bars, spa, pools, boutiques, banquet facilities, and the flexibility of larger boats to float in and out of the hotel center. In 2023, the Ciel Hotel will be the highest hotel in the world. The 365 meter high structure will contribute to Dubai's marina skyline and will be managed by Dubai-based property developer, The First Group. The 82-story hotel is designed by London-based architect, Noor, and will have a glass observation deck on the 82nd story that allows tourists 360 degrees view across Dubai's marina, the Palm Jumeirah, and the Arabian Gulf. The hotel will also have a sunset lounge on the 74th floor. And after completion, the CL Tower will be taller than the Javora Hotel, which is presently the highest building in Dubai. The Jubail Islands are located between the Emirates and Yas Island in Abu Dhabi. The planned project will cover 4,500 hectares and will include a vast mangrove park. The Jubail Island Investment Company will manage the development, which will include restaurants, a beach resort, sports complexes, nurseries, schools, clinics, community centers, and business centers. According to their statement, the property will also contain extensive and well-appointed outdoor spaces for nature lovers and water sports fans, including areas such as parks, walking paths, kayaking stations, and cycling routes. The Arabian Construction Company will construct the first 300 villas, which will be completed by the fourth quarter of 2023. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is a cable-stayed international bridge that connects the city of Detroit with Windsor and Ontario, Canada, over the Detroit River. When completed, the main span of the crossing will be the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America at 853 meters. Gordie Howe was a Canadian ice hockey player who spent his whole career with the Detroit Red Wings. He died two years before the bridge's construction began, and the project bears his name in his honor. The bridge will include two A-shaped towers, six traffic lanes, and a 12-feet-wide pedestrian and bicycling corridor. In addition, as cross-border traffic is expected to increase from 18,500 vehicles per day in 2016 to 26,500 by 2025, the Gordie Howe International Bridge will ensure smooth passage of both people and goods between the United States and Canada. Moreover, the project involves the construction of additional entry points that will link the bridge terminals in the United States and Canada. At the end of the bridge, the new Canadian port of entry will be the largest on the US-Canada border and will be built on a 130-acre plot of land. And the US port of entry will be erected on a 167-acre site, which makes it one of the largest border facilities in North America. The Tren Maya, commonly known as the Mayan Train, or the Maya Train, is an intercity railway in Mexico that would cover a distance of 948 miles and will run through the Yucatan Peninsula. Construction on the railroad starts in Palenque, which is located in Chiapas, and continues on to Cancun, which is located in the Quinta Ru through two different lines that ring the peninsula. The project name comes from the ancient Mayan sites that it intends to link, which are located inland and less well known than the coastal tourist spots. Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula has been a popular tourist attraction since the 1970s, when places like Cancun and Cozumel started to capitalize on their lovely coastal and Caribbean surroundings. All of it is difficult to reach due to long, slow bus rides on the road. Hence, the solution is Tren Maya, a $10 billion, 948-mile railway being developed to connect popular tourist locations with coastal cities and airports. 
It is seen as an effective idea to expand an important area of the economy of Mexico. It may be accurate, but the region it passes through is highly disputed and mostly covered in jungle. So this has resulted in several legal battles and delays, but the project remains on target to open December of 2023. Evi is one of the most magnificent large-scale construction projects that reshaped the skyline of the Overhex development zone in North Amsterdam. This project is set to be complete in 2023. Work on the project started in the first month of 2020, with funding provided by Hamburg-based Union Investment, and Burrow Happold has been hired as a trusted advisor to provide insight and consulting on pre-existing designs. With the goal of optimizing the project across many disciplines such as structures, facades, acoustics, and building services engineering. The remarkable twin tower design, which was conceived by Amsterdam-based Team V Architecture, will stand out above the surrounding structures. One of the towers will be 110 meters tall, making it the highest building in Amsterdam. It will include a Martin branded conference hotel with over 6,000 square meters of conference space and 579 rooms. The new National Bank of Kuwait headquarters, located in one of the most hostile inhabited climates in the world, is a landmark tall structure for the city that displays the absolute finest use of cutting edge architecture in a harsh region. The building was recently completed, but when it opens its doors, the unusual skyscraper is sure to become an instant new icon on the city skyline. The National Bank of Kuwait envisioned the headquarters as a model of passive design in the desert. Due to this, Burrow Happold was faced with the daunting task of ensuring the 300 meter tall, fully glazed skyscraper got a gold rating from the LEED in temperatures that may reach 45 degrees Celsius. Moreover, the skyscraper has a superstructure made out of large shade fins that cover the glass facade, shielding it from the daytime Kuwaiti sun while also providing structural support. Atlantis the Royal is a luxury resort that has been open to the public since February 10th, 2023. This hotel has a skyblaze fountain, 231 luxury flats, 693 guest rooms, and 102 suites, all with views of the Arabian Sea and Palm Island. French interior design specialist Sybil de Marjorie said that there was a commissioned group of unique style artists customizing each residence. In addition, the result has 90 swimming pools, including the rooftop infinity pool hanging 90 meters above ground level on the 22nd floor. Moreover, Atlantis restaurants at the Royal will be handled by worldwide professional chefs such as Gaston Acurio, Costas Spiades, Nobu Matsuhisa, Ariana Bundy, Heston Blumenthal, and Jose Andres. That was all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Moreover, if you're new and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any useful and informative daily updates. Thank you for watching and best of luck.